let me label this picture example one because uh, I'm going to refer to some of these examples later. Okay, so you would say this converges to, to some point P. Would you agree? Everybody agree? Not if you say, yeah? Okay. Would you say that this sequence of points uh, also converges to some point Q over here? No? Why not? It doesn't seem anywhere nearby, right? So nearness is important, right? A metric here is going to be important, right? Okay, so Daniel says, okay, I get that. Let's move on. So, example two, let's draw another picture here. Would you say uh, this sequence converges in the plane? And just imagine this picture going on. Keeps going. This is an RT. No? Why not? There, there's no point it's getting that these, see, these, okay, fine, good, get that. Let's move on. Uh, so you'd say no, this doesn't converge. Uh, what about this example? Here's a, again, same space, R2, but suppose that every point is some is the same. Wow. Okay. Dropping lots of chalk. Every point is the same. Would you say this this sequence converges? Yeah. Reasonable. Yeah. Reasonable to say yes. It does converge. Okay. So yes, no, yes. What does it converge to if it did converge to something? P. Okay. That's good. What about um, this picture? What about this sequence? How about this? Uh, P1, P2, P3 is also P1, P4 is the same as P2, etc. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Would you say that converges? No? Well, it looks like it's getting close to, to this point, doesn't it? it? It keeps getting close. It gets close. It actually hits this point all the time. But what? But, the, but not all the points do, right? So our, our right notion of convergence should <coughs> capture the fact that all the points should be getting somehow closer, right? I mean, the points beyond a certain place. Yes? OK. So uh, if you want to talk about convergence, we'd say, Yes to these examples, and no to these examples in terms of convergence. Okay, whatever that means. But we're still trying to, going to try to make this concept very precise. All right, you with me? Okay, so uh, let's make a definition. Let's make a definition. What would you say is true about this picture, or even this picture, but not about this picture or that picture? What does it mean to converge? Willie. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, I like part of what you said, which was you're, you're, you can get you can get arbitrarily close, but that also is true here. I am getting arbitrarily close to this point. Okay, but uh, to the same point. Well, if you pick this point to be P, I, I do at least every odd odd numbered time I get close to this point. Every Okay. What do you mean by every point? I'm just pushing you a little bit. I appreciate you volunteering. I mean by every point, because here, certainly P1 is not close to P. P2 is not close to P. P3 is not, but... As you move down the index. Okay, very good. Were there some other comments here? Harris? Uh-huh. 
Oh, yeah. Good. How about, um, sure, I'll make another example. Would there be anything wrong with this, Harris is saying? Boop. So it does, uh, you know, maybe this is P10, but P11 and P, uh, P9 are here, right? And then they just keep going, like one, two, three, blah, and then anomal anomalously goes out and then comes back in. Still converge, would you say? Yeah, okay. So let's let's make a definition that reflects this picture. Laura. Okay, so we certainly want our definition to be robust in the sense that if you truncate any of the initial portion, it should still I converge if it converged before. Right. Okay. Good. So let's let's make a definition that kind of reflects what uh, what you're all saying. So here's our definition. We're going to say P n converges if okay. Well, here's 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 one way to describe it. If there exists a P such that, uh, this is of course in the metric space X, such that for any distance you name, for every epsilon bigger than zero, so let's pick an epsilon here. You give me an epsilon bigger than zero and it'll be a, a ball around P such that for any distance epsilon bigger than zero, what do I want to say about the sequence? All these cases we said converged. There is a point in the sequence beyond which, what? All the terms are inside. Now, is that true with this example where you, you pop out? Yeah, it's still true because you just go a little farther, right? If this happened to be P1000, you know, you're all the way down here, and then boom, you're out, and then you come back in, then you just go to the thousandth and one th place. So we're going to say if there's a point, if there exists, so for every epsilon bigger than zero, there exists a number. This is going to be an index n uh, such that What? Little n bigger than big N implies if you're far if you're beyond n in the sequence, what's true about the distance between P n and P? It's less than epsilon. Okay? So this is the important part of this of this uh, definition. The first part is just saying, okay, Pn converges to P, okay? Uh, and this is the index beyond which all the terms are closer than epsilon. Okay, so let's, let's unpack this definition a little bit. It seems kind of a, a funny definition. Uh, before I do that, let me just point out that if you have that definition, um, you often write this, if that definition holds, Pn, you could draw an arrow. Or you could, you could also say, that's one way to say it. Another way to say it is, uh, and you've seen this before, you write lim n goes to infinity of Pn equals what? P, okay? The first instance of the limit symbol, okay? And now, of course, you're probably wondering, well, what's the connection between the sequence converging and limit point. What's that connection? We're going to explore in just a second. Um, you often say Pn converges to P. That's one way we say it, right? Or another way we say it is P is the limit. Notice I'm not saying limit point, I'm saying limit of a sequence, Pn. 